In this video I'll be reviewing the Quick TS11 soldering iron. At the time of filming this video you can purchase the TS11 for around 85 US dollars. Sounds like a good deal right? But what exactly do you get for your money? Inside the box you'll find a user manual, a handpiece holder, the TS11 station, a silicon pad for swapping tips, grounding cable, three iron tips which is great, however I would have preferred at least one of them to be a chisel tip for better variety, and lastly the handpiece. To swap out the tips when hot, I can use the included silicon pad. In my opinion this method isn't as good as hot swapping methods found on the Miniware TS80P or my JBC, but for the price I can forgive this. The holder can store several tips. However I'm not a fan of the design which allows the tips to move around and cross over each other. At the front there is a brass wall holder for cleaning the iron tip. At the back of the station is your power input with a fuse, earth connection and power switch. Switching the TS11 on for the first time we can see the iron heats up in a matter of a couple of seconds. To change the temperature you can use the plus and minus buttons, or use the set button to cycle through the three customizable preset temperatures. Long pressing the set button opens the menu. Here we can program our three preset temperatures up to a maximum of 450 degrees Celsius. We can disable the button tone. Change the temperature between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Change the language. And program the shutdown and sleep timers. Now let's investigate how precise the temperature control is using my Heiko temperature meter. At this point the station is uncalibrated and straight out of the box. With the station set to 300C, the actual tip temperature is about 25 to 30 degrees hotter, which is roughly a 10% margin of error. Far from perfect, but for this price point it's not terrible. Let's see if we can improve the results by performing a calibration by holding down the plus and minus buttons together. Now I enter the actual tip temperature I measured before and save the calibration by pressing set. After calibrating the tip temperature was hovering around 15 degrees hotter than programmed. So I performed a second calibration which finally achieved an accurate result. Next I bumped up the temperature to 400C which resulted in a tip temperature of 380C. Based on these findings there is some temperature drift but nothing that would put me off for general repair work or the average DIYer. Let's move on to real world use. Here I have an outdated version of my smart coffee PCB. I'd like to desolder the small heat sinks to see if the TS11 has enough heat output for everyday use. Ideally I'd use a chisel tip for this type of work, but since one isn't included in the box, I'll make do with the blade tip, which made quick work of removing the heatsink. 
how about tinning 16 AWG cable? Next I tested the TS11 by assembling a new smart coffee circuit board. These boards use 2 ounce copper which can be quite challenging to solder. On some of the larger pads, the TS11 is struggling to deliver enough heat to flow the solder properly. But even my professional JBC has to work hard on these, so it's definitely not a deal breaker. One thing I particularly enjoyed about the TS11 is the handpiece. It has one of the shortest grip to tip distances of any iron I've used, even beating the very popular JBC handpiece. When it comes to sleep mode, sometimes the station doesn't detect when I picked up the handpiece. However, I found shaking the handpiece waked up the station. Before we wrap up, let's take a look inside the TS11 and see what is what. Inside there is an isolation transformer which outputs 10 volts at 200 milliamps and 27 volts at 3 amps. The 10 volt output will be used to run the logic and display portion of the circuit, while the 27 volt output will be sent to the iron tip for heating. The main IC for regulating power to the handpiece is a JST08 which is an 8 amp triac mounted to a heat sink which is great to see. In conclusion, the TS11 is not perfect when it comes to temperature management, nor is it a powerhouse for heavy duty soldering. But when you consider how affordable this is and compare it to similar priced irons, the TS11 has a lot to offer. This is a great entry level soldering station for DIYs and hobbyists. If you want to pick up a TS11, it would be great if you use the affiliate link in the description to help support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.